Hey, 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 hey. So I have um, a haul. Yeah, I was bad. I was bad. I mean, I've got a job now, so it's not, you know, so egregious um, for me to have made a purchase or two little purchases. And um, I also have a very special gift to share with you from Wendy. She has diamonds and stuff. She's a diamond painting channel. Um, I'm going to leave the link to her channel in the description box below. So please go over and show her some crafty love. Um, I would really appreciate that. Um, so let me share with you what Wendy gave me first. And I was shocked. I thought it was just going to be a little thing you were sending Wendy. I didn't know what you were sending, but um, she sent me this. Can get it? Yeah, I'm in frame. Okay. It's a heating pad for your back. Not that I need heat for my back, but it's to keep me warm. <laughs> um, and I'm super appreciative of it because I tried to diamond paint on maize while wearing my sweat coat because I was super cold and um, boy did I regret that after uh, I realized what was happening I am still picking cat fur out of that diamond painting and um, you know I, I typically have to pick furs out you know little hairs every now and then but this was so bad and um, it was because I was wearing my sweat jacket and there was obviously pet hair on my sweat jacket. I didn't even think about it. All I thought about was that I was cold. And so I will definitely be using this whilst I diamond paint in the winter. I kind of wish I had known about something like this when um, Chubu was, you know, still alive. Because he had super bad arthritis. Um, and I held a heat pad on him, but, you know... This probably would have wrapped around his body better. But, um, yeah, thank you so much, Wendy. You are so kind, and um, I can't believe you bought that for me. And I have a feeling my mom's probably going to try and jack it. I'll let her borrow it. She stays in my house when I'm at work to take care of the pack of dogs. Okay, so I'm going to show you the diamond paintings first. Then I'm going to bring you down... To show you the smaller stuff. Oh, my mom! My mom gave me this little container of buttons from Dollar Tree, which was so nice of her. I've probably got over a million buttons, literally. It wouldn't surprise me if I had over a million. I buy them when they're cheap, and I'm not afraid to use my buttons. But, you know, it's just one of those things where I will continue to buy and buy and buy. I have so many jars of buttons. Okay, shut up. Just shut up, Joss. All right, so this first one was $3.19. I'm not quite sure why I bought this one, but I'll do it. I'll do it because I bought it. So, okay, I'm going to have to hold it at an angle. I have to stand while I do this so that I can see what I'm doing. So it is a pair of arowana this type of fish. Um, it's a little bit hard to see in this picture. I get it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of dark black in the back. <laughs> and this is probably my least favorite shade of red. I like the dark, like more cranberry type reds. My least favorite shade of red. Um, but, you know, I bought it and I have it. It's it's worth the price. You know, it's 30 by 40 for barely over $3. So, yeah, it's worth the price. But I am thinking, um, because arowana are um, an iridescent fish, I was thinking about um, buying some AB red drills to put on it. So, yeah, there is that one. And for those of you who want it, I have no clue if I'm holding it steady enough. 
I've discovered that I really don't care what the symbols are in the key or legend, whatever you want to call it, um, because I paint by symbol, so um, it doesn't bother me if one's a two and two's a three, because I'll just write down two and three, you know, and then I'll paint that way. And I've noticed with Maze, you know, because she had the letter V, and then she also had the sideways V for coding. Um, I thought I'd have a lot more trouble, a lot more trouble. I'm, I thought I'd have a lot more trouble speaking English, which I do. I thought I'd have more trouble um, with uh, confusing. What am I trying to say? I thought I would be more confused with the sideways V and the regular V. Um, but it turns out I'm not, you know, as soon as I'm working on one of the two symbols, I just look at the orientation of maze and then I know which direction I'm supposed to be in. All right. This next one was 398. I ended up getting two paintings that have the black guide circles, which I'm not thrilled. I don't mind guide circles. I just don't want the black ones, you know, where it's black outlines because I'm not overly precise with my diamond painting. So this one is, it's a blue, I might say it's a blue pit bull that's laying down. It's in different purple tones, purples and whites. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can see that pretty well. But it does have the black guide circles. There's not a whole lot of colors. There's only 15 colors, but it's not meant to be super realistic in, in the coloring. That is a stupid fucking symbol. Okay, I'm going to call that the dumbbell. What a stupid symbol. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. This this one reminded me of Dottie. When she wasn't as uh, chunky. You know, Dottie's in her double digits now. She's allowed to be a little chunky. Um, this one does have the less appetizing diamond bags. Still not as bad as the tiny bags, but, you know. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever. You're gonna have to move, cat. I've only got a couple hours before I go to bed, so I was gonna... <sighs> Son of a business. I was gonna, um... I'm going to save this one for last. That's my favorite. I'm going to try and work on maze for a couple hours. I've got one more day to work tomorrow. And then I'll have a few days off to do what I want to do. This next one was 448. It's another 30 by 40. My frickin' stack of, uh, seed and bugle beads fell down behind my table. And I was just thinking, you know what, Ray, you need to move that to a more secure place. Because that's what happened the last time. Okay. So this one is a rainbow unicorn. I just love the color. As much as I love dark, I love dark. I equally love bright, vibrant rainbow. So, you know, it must be because I'm gay. Because gay people don't have a favorite color. Gay people love all colors. I'm always going to have that line from Ugly Betty in my head. That gay people don't have a favorite color. <laughs> they love all colors. So, yes. Unicorn. Maybe I will diamond paint this while binge watching all the Despicable Me movies. Because that's how I do it. There is the mm, glare. There's there's the glare for you guys. Uh, it looks like numbers to alphabets. Mm, just lots of pretty, 
pretty unicorn colors. Okay, and then I got I saw that diamond diamond painting with Tita. I saw that she had gotten this after um, I had bought it. I paid I paid a little over two dollars and then I got refunded like seventy cents. And I knew I was going to because the price was a dollar fifteen when I had added it to my cart and then it had bumped up before I checked out. So I figured I'd get refunded closer to that dollar mark. It's just the candy canes and poinsettias. So thirty by thirty. Sure, lots of people have shown it. They had another one that was at the same price point, but I like this one better. Um, so yes. That's pretty red. Not, not that you guys could see it. Not that you'll be able to see the red anyways. My camera is allergic to the color red. Like every it's like uh Having too bright of lights, it just it's completely washed out most of the time when I show something with red. Okay, and this one was $3.99. This one is the other one that has the black guide circles. And the diamond bags. It's just a couple of birds with like cherry blossoms or something something we'll see how they turn out they don't look good now but you know they might turn out okay 30 by 30 um i don't know if you'll be able to see it but there it is so yeah probably paid too much for this one There's this one on um, Cool Deals that I've been looking at. I'm There's several on Cool Deals that I want. But um, I'm getting a little frustrated because it'll say the price like, um, we'll say $6.99 pounds. Six pounds, 99 pence. And then I click on it and it translates into dollars and the price goes down. We'll say uh, $5.99. Then when I add it to my cart, it jumps up to $9.98. I don't know what's going on with cool deals. I don't understand. But I'm getting a little frustrated. I still may make an order from there, but um There's this one Cruella picture that they have that I want so bad. And so I'm, there was two, but one of them, Cruella, wasn't spelled right. So I'm only going <laughs> to, I'm probably only going to get the one. But, um, yeah, it's, it's hard for me to justify paying $8 for a 30 by 40 when I only pay like $4 for a 30 by 40 on Timu, you know? All right, this one was $5.51. I am so in love with it. I have a new obsession, which I didn't think this would become an obsession, but um, the apples, the pictures of the apples that are like crystal or they have an image in them, I want to collect them all. This one's 40 by 40. And I'm going to hold it up in just a second. God, it is so beautiful. so beautiful look how clear that is it's so pretty I'm freaking obsessed with it oh my goodness there's this one on cool deals super awesome too it's like a frosted clear apple with cherry blossoms in it and bubbles it's fucking beautiful there's two more on Timu I wanted but they went out of stock before I made this order um 
so I'm definitely going to get the other two if and when they do come back in stock, but God, it is so beautiful. I really want to work on this one now, but I'm working on Mazikeen and um, I don't want to kid up anymore because I've got that uh, GBFKE uh, coming in, I believe. Who knows at this point? I believe. Um, and so I don't want to have a bunch of things. You, you know I only like to work on one thing at a time anyways. And so I don't want to kit this up. And then, you know, the GBFKE come. And, you know, I, I, I just have too many things kitted up to be comfortable. Alright, I'm going to pause and bring you down. Okay. Oops. You were down all right. You were upside down. <laughs> okay. So, I do have one more diamond painting. Um, but it's off canvas. My very first off canvas one. Um, it was 7.49. It's a tissue box. I don't think I'm too close. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Here it is. Yes. Okay. Tissue box is plastic, but the lid is wood. And it's of a Shiba Inu um, saying hello. So I bought this to do for Mickey. Um, I've been thinking about Mickey a whole lot lately. She's my... I don't know how to put this. Mickey is like my cheerleader. She is always there to boost me up when I'm feeling down. To reassure me that I'm good at my job. That I'm a good worker. And, you know, because she was my boss before she was my friend. You know, it, it that has more meaning when she tells me I'm a good worker as opposed to someone else, you know? And so, you know, whenever I'm feeling down about myself or, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue discouraged. There we go. I was about to say disenchanted because I couldn't think of discouraged. Discouraged. She's there. She's there to, to basically pick me back up. And whenever I want to go do something and I don't have, you know, someone's canceled on me, I know I can count on her to go do something with me. Like I can take her to a play with me. You know, I can take her to a musical. I can... You know, she went to, um, the, uh, the, uh, wildlife, uh, not reserve, conservation, Northwest Track, it's, Northwest Track, it's like a wildlife uh, conservation park. You know, she went there with me, you know, she's always ready to do things with me and you know it makes me feel good and important and better about who I am and um I just wanted her to know that I was thinking about her and that I appreciate her I don't know if this is gonna be too cutesy for her she's obsessed with like an anime and she's got a Shiba Inu that looks <sighs> exactly like a stuffed dog when that dog is laying in the window but yeah, she's she's very important to me. And um, she's a type of human being that I aspire to be more like. So I'm going to do this for her. Um, it's mostly rhinestones. It's got a few different uh, sizes of the yellow. It's got some big yellows. And then the white and the black are regular drills. This is more like an amber. So yeah. 
very I'm probably gonna cut this cut this one up. I'm probably gonna cut this one up. Um and work on it uh whilst I'm working on maze and working on um a GBK good boys find kindness everywhere. Hi, I remembered it, Wendy. Um GBKFE um diamond painting so yeah it most a lot of the three going <laughs> which I still don't like okay um so yeah very excited to do this and I hope she likes it okay then I got the 72 macaron uh colored pencils by brute fooner very excited um when miss eddie blue did a review of these um there's a lot of you know obviously you're gonna have basically the 50 set um in this 72 set but she swatched them out in like the colors um from this 72 set like we'll just throw out the color cork isn't the same tone of or shade of color as in the 50 set. So there are some differences. I don't know why, but there is. Um, so here's the first tray. I mean, you guys... Oh, dropping diamond paintings here. Dropping diamond paintings. I mean, the coloring on this was just so smooth. And the wax is just so shiny and smooth. Oh, God. Fucking beautiful. They did a fabulous job with these macarons. There's that set. I was hoping there'd be more earth tones in the 72. There is not. But that's okay. I'm still happy to have these. Um, and then there's these. So, very, very beautiful. Um, I originally paid like $20, but it probably got bumped down to like um, around $18 and a half dollars. Um, so I got uh, the price reduction. I feel like I can't talk today. I got off work like an hour ago, or two hours ago. It takes me an hour and 15 minutes to drive home. So, when I speed. <laughs> I'm just a little tired. They asked me, um, or one of my new co-workers asked me why I didn't ask Amanda to, uh, or my manager to move me to full-time when a full-time position opened up right after I got hired. It's like, you think I want to drive all the way here five days a week? I do not. I do not. Okay, I got this bag. Um, it was $1.39. I just thought it was hilarious. I'm sure y'all have seen it pop up. This is not a bag of teeth. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I should buy another one and give it to my dentist. You would get a kick out of that. Not a bag. It's, it doesn't look like it's printed well on the front, but when I flipped it over, it's the same thing. So it just must be a problem with this stamp. But, oh my god, it is so funny. Not a bag of teeth. Okay. I got this diamond painting pen. I bought it because the title said square diamond painting pen. And um, I have that one square diamond painting of the stained glass dragon. But after I bought it, um, I realized it said square round. And I tried to cancel this out of my order. Um, but it wouldn't let me cancel it without canceling my entire order and I didn't want to do that so I guess I'm keeping it. It was a dollar thirty nine. It's a light up. Of course you have to supply your own batteries. Um diamond painting pen it's 
uh, it's, you know, around. It's just like the ones you get from the kits. Um, I'm going to try and use it, but I honestly don't know if I'm going to like something this thick in my fingers. Um, I get with most arthritic hands, people need something bigger. For me, it's more painful to hold something bigger. I can't write with those big chunky pens. I can't write with them. Um, I have, I don't mind using these little, uh, pens that come in the kits. You know, it, it, that doesn't bother me. It feels more comfortable to have my fingers more tightly, uh, or close together than it does. And, um, around this big one. So if I don't like it, I'm just going to give it to Sabsies. Um, I'm sure she'll love it. So sure she'll love it. Oh my God. And then I got this, one of those sticky mats, dollar 26 in purple. Um, I got it because, you know, since I started diamond painting, I've been using these green boats, which I don't mind using. Do I tip it over sometimes? I do. I do tip it over sometimes. But I like having small boats because I like to hold the boat in my hand while I'm diamond painting. Um, but at times when I'm not holding it in my hands, when I'm working on the bigger, you know, when I'm working on maze and all that slanted desk, the green boat was constantly sliding down, which was driving me nuts because I like to have the boat exactly where I'm diamond painting, you know. I don't like to have to reach. Uh, so I bought this for it. And then I was like, I'm going to try one of the boats that came in the um, Diamond Art Club kits. And they're still small enough that it doesn't bother me. But, or I shouldn't say but, but's the word for it. But's the wrong word. But, well, I guess, yes, but is the right word. But what I found out was that the smaller trays that came in the Diamond Art Club kits don't slide on my slanted desk. So I guess I didn't really need to buy this after all. <laughs> oh, I'm a hot mess. I bought another pack of the glow in the dark round drills. They do indeed really glow. Can you guys see it? I think you can see it. Glow, glow, glow. I think you can see it. Yes, they glow. I can see the green. I hope you can see the green too. Um, just, I want to make sure I had enough. Um, when I decided to do diamond or glow in the dark drills on my diamond paintings. And then I bought some cases. I bought this one in my first order. It was $1.61 clear. I just wanted to back up in case I broke, uh, my small case that I have now. Um, and then I was talking to Sabzi and, um, she had bought, she hadn't been diamond painting for a long time. And then her mom was redecorating the bathroom in, um, her bathroom in like a sea theme. And so she bought, uh, like a seashell diamond painting to do for her mom's bathroom. And I asked her if she wanted, if she needed a, a containment storage system, because I knew she didn't have one. And she said, yes, please. So I'm going to give her this one. And then um, I saw this one. This one was a dollar and one cents for the colors. And so I got this one for myself. So that's the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I think I am going to have to go and buy another one of those. <laughs> Not a ba bag of teeth bags. <gasps> God, he's going to love that. I can't wait to work on the apple. It's going to be a while before I can work on it, but I can't wait. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please go over and check out uh, Wendy's channel if possible, especially if you like to diamond paint. I think she's a fabulous diamond painting channel, and I like listening to her. Um, so...
Thanks for watching and adios.